Hi guys, Lindsay here with Sturbrook Family Farm. So it's been a few weeks now since I decided that I was going to completely cut off all social media in my life. Um, and I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update as to how things have been going with me. Because I've noticed some pretty big changes. Um, and I think that they're kind of interesting to talk about. So one of the big things that I've noticed is as being an empath and as also being a highly sensitive person is... I've found that I have a lot more energy now. I don't keep feeling like I'm really drained, um, which is something that definitely happened a lot through scrolling through Facebook, which I've discussed before about how it just sort of seems like every post is, I need attention or I need this or I need that. And as somebody like me, like that just drains so much of your energy because you're like, I feel like I should help. I feel like I should help. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, they need help with this or you know, it's just, it's an endless vicious cycle of people just being needy all the time. It also drags you into the drama of other people's lives that you haven't even talked to in like 15 years, which I don't want to deal with that. You know, I don't want to know that your kid fell and broke his tooth out of his face. Like, I don't, I've never met your kid, never going to meet your kid, never going to see you again. Like, why do people care about this stuff? It's just, it's silly. Um, the other thing too that I've noticed is I seem to have more time more time to do projects, more time to just exist. Um, I've noticed also that when I'm reading things now, like on my phone, like reading information, it doesn't seem like all of the text just goes in one eye and I guess out the other. I don't, I don't know how that would be translated to, to reading something, you know, instead of in one ear out the other, because it's not, you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's not just fading away as soon as I read it, which happens all the time for me. Um, it definitely seems like there's more retention that happens. And I think that that's partially because when you scroll through social media, your brain is constantly just skimming information all the time to see if there's anything of any excitement or importance in it. And if there's not, then you just, it disappears. It's kind of like those times that you pull out your phone to check the time and then you put it away and you go, shoot, I don't even remember what time it is now. That happens a lot. And I think that social media is partially to blame for that because it's, kind of the nature of the game it entrances you just like a slot machine does so then that way you'll just spend endless hours scrolling through and accidentally looking at ad after ad after ad and not realizing that approximately every four posts you see there's an ad there that they make money off of you don't like making money for people other people that aren't me i should suppose i should say i suppose um the other things that i've noticed too is it feels like i am more free I don't have something nagging at me constantly with all of these distractions of all of the noises of the phone going off constantly. You know, I miss when I was a child and you could just go outside and you didn't have anybody bothering you. Um, I miss that a lot. Uh, even as, you know, when I was a young adult, that's when uh, smartphones really started taking over. And I miss that there used to be places that you could go easily where you didn't have cell service and people didn't bother you. They'd just go... Oh yeah, they must not have service, not just repeatedly text and call you constantly trying to get your attention. Anyways, that's a whole other topic on cell phones that for a whole other video at some point. But so those are the things that I've noticed. I've also noticed that since I am really only focusing on what's in the physical world around me, that it makes me feel like I want to cleanse things more, cleanse my own energy more, take more time to meditate, to sit in nature and just check in with myself to feel how I'm feeling and to basically become more aware of what's around me and what's present in my life physically instead of what's in the imaginary world of you know the metaverse or whatever you want to call it you know it's just it's been very healing for me I think to be able to process a lot of different emotions that you know most people tend to turn to entertainment to forget about things when they come up within you. So that's been a very healing process of not having that. The other thing too that has happened has been that I've felt a need to essentially detox my life as well. Not just, you know, socially or, you know, social media wise or anything of this sort. But I've also been watching a lot less YouTube videos. I've been, you know, listening to just regular music, like just music, music, not like songs and stuff, just old-fashioned type of music and like meditation music and things of that nature to where there's not somebody constantly talking or singing and saying words all the time. That's something that's been very nice for me because I've noticed that with doing this detox, 
and not scrolling through Facebook while eating breakfast or, you know, doing different things of that nature. I've noticed that my mind can just drift away and wander away to different memories and different thoughts and things of that nature. That, that was something that had been missing for a while because, well, when you have something flashing at you all the time and showing you all sorts of different things, kind of makes it so your imagination does not get kicked in. So that's been really nice to essentially have it so I have my memories back and stuff of just them randomly like daydreaming that's that's what I'm trying to say is that I found myself daydreaming a lot more and I didn't realize how much that was lacking in my life but when you're constantly looking at other things and being shown different things or essentially watching tv all the time you're not really using your brain you're not using your imagination you're not revisiting things of the past you're not reminiscing on memories or anything of the sort like that so that is something that's been happening a lot for me is it's just been a really beautiful replaying of really vivid memories that I'd forgotten about and just beautiful things in my life um, like when I was walking up to film I had noticed that a whole bunch of the leaves had fallen on, on off of the trees and stuff and on the ground which is way too early for that but I immediately remembered and reminisced back to last year when it was in like October. It was a really cold and kind of like a drizzly rainy day. And I was sitting out here and um, trying to bow hunt. Um, and all of the leaves were just falling all at the same time. And it was just absolutely breathtaking. Like it felt like I was in a snow globe and just all these leaves just kept like trickling down. And it was just, it was gorgeous like it felt like the most magical like three hours of my life and I just sat there and all of the misery of being terribly uncomfortable and all that just in awe of how beautiful it was and like it was so peaceful and so quiet and just to be able to have my mind free enough now that I can have those memories like flood back like that is just it means a lot to me because I had thought that, that was something that honestly kind of got lost with my age that I just wasn't going to be in a daydreamy type of state anymore that I kind of grew out of it. But evidently you don't grow out of it. It's just the world gets busy inside in front of you and it makes you kind of forget who you are inside. So yeah, that's been my experiences so far without using social media. Um, it's been, I think about three weeks since I went cold Turkey. Um, so that's definitely been interesting. Um, yeah. So if you guys have ever quit, let me know in the comment section, if you notice similar things, um, or, you know, if you notice anything at all. So thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.